Hello guys, in previous videos we talked a lot about weak acids and we learned that strong acids dissociate fully in water, however weak acids dissociate only partially in water. And the strength of an acid can be measured using the acid dissociation constant or K sub A. The larger the volume of K sub A, you are going to have a stronger acid. Now, this works exactly the same way for bases. When you have a strong base, it's going to fully dissociate in water, but weak bases dissociate only partially in water. And the strength of a base can be measured using the base dissociation constant or K sub B. So the larger the volume of K sub B, the stronger the base is. Now here we have a reaction, a weak base uh, dissolved in water, going to give us HB plus in this case, a conjugate acid plus OH minus or hydroxide ion. And K sub B can be written from this expression. As before, the products are going to be in the numerator. So HB plus concentration multiplied by the OH minus concentration divided by the concentration of our weak base. Water is not included in here because this is our solvent. So this is the expression for K sub B. And what's cool is that the equilibrium calculations work exactly the same same way as for acids, just we are going to use here the base dissociation constant instead of the acid dissociation constant. We also learned about so-called conjugate acid-base pairs, and those are simply formulas that differ by an H+. Plus. And if you actually know K sub A, you can calculate K sub B because there is a relationship between them. So if you multiply the acid co dissociation constant with the base dissociation constant, that is going to equal to the ion product constant of water, which, as the name says, is a constant volume. So if you know one of them, you can calculate the other. If you know K sub A, you can calculate K sub B. So let's do a sample question for this. Let's calculate the base dissociation constant K sub B for the fluoride ion if K sub A for HF or hydrofluoric acid is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative force at 25 degrees Celsius. So first, let's just write out the chemical equation and see our acids and bases. So our acid is HF aqueous, right? And it's going to produce a conjugate base, which is F minus plus H plus ions. So this is our acid, and the conjugate base is the fluoride ion. Now we need to calculate K sub B. So from this expression right here, that equals to K sub W divided by K sub A. So I simply just plug in the volumes. 1.0 times 10 to a negative 14th, right? That's the ion product constant for water divided by K sub A from our question, just 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11. So that is our K sub B for the fluoride ion. All right, let's do another question. Let's use the data below, so in this table, to figure out which conjugate base is the strongest base. Now you can see that we have acids here given. So let's start writing out the conjugate bases. So conjugate base for each of these acids. So we start with HF, hydrofluoric acid. The conjugate base is going to be F minus, right? The fluoride ion. Remember that the formula simply differ by an H plus. So then we move on to nitrous acid, HNO2. So the conjugate base is going to be the NO2 minus ion, which is the nitrite ion. Then we have 
uh, hypochlorous acid, HClO, and its conjugate base is the ClO minus or hypochlorite ion. And then we have the ammonium ion, NH4 plus, and its conjugate base is NH3, ammonium. Now, we have to figure out which base is the strongest base. Importantly, we know that the stronger an acid, the weaker its conjugate base, and the stronger the base, the weaker its conjugate acid. So, if I can figure out which of these acids is the strongest, that is going to give me the weakest conjugate base. Or, if I find the weakest acid, that is going to give me the strongest conjugate base. Now, we know that the larger the value of Ke, the stronger the acid is. So, first, let's try to find the strongest acid. So, which K sub A value is the largest? It's 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth, right? So, this is going to be hydrofluoric acid is the strongest acid. Okay. Then, let's try to find the weakest acid. Which one is that? The ammonium ion, right? So this is going to be our weakest acid. And because we know that the stronger the acid, the weaker its conjugate bases, the fluoride ion right here is going to be the weakest conjugate base. So the strongest conjugate base is going to be formed from the weakest acid, which is ammonia right here. So this is going to be our strongest conjugate base. All right. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.